Hello everyone, welcome back to another VR painting. Today I wanted to paint one of the most adorable characters from a game that I have ever come across. Her name is Little Misfortune. If you haven't played the game, it is the perfect mixture of cute and dark and it's everything magical. I would recommend checking out the playlist. I did a full playthrough right over here. But if you're already familiar with Little Miss Fortune, today we are going to create a piece for her in virtual reality. So I still haven't found a way that I'm satisfied with drawing in 3D. So I'm still learning at this point, but I think I'm getting better at making my brain work in a 3D space. So I'm starting off with her head shape. She's a very big head and it was kind of tricky to get that in a 3D space, especially because we only see her in 2D throughout the whole game. So I kind of just had to make up what I thought she would look like if she was 3D. Now I found out a cool little trick in Tilt Brush. Uh, you can actually zoom in and out, which makes it so much easier to do details and to get a larger perspective to see how your work looks far away and close up. So that is one of the new things that I am using and doing in this drawing. So I'm just working layers as if I am building her up with clay. And so I started off with her face and then moved on to her, her dress and her little body. like the way that the hair came out. It felt like it was really full and I love how the brush strokes kind of look like hair, but not individual strands, of course. And then on top, the beret. So I actually really love the way that this came out. It actually looks like it's plopped on top of her head. It has some weight to it. And I really do love the way that all of these colors work together. The designers, the devs did a really great job of choosing her colors and I can appreciate a good color palette for a character. So once I got those features down, now it was time to work on the face and the eyes. And this is what I feel like I have the most trouble with because they have to be like inside of the head. And since I've already drawn the shape of the head, it's just a little bit tricky for me. So I will definitely work on this and try out different techniques. So I feel like I did get stuck here a little bit, but I do like the way that it is coming out. I think really making her eye lids kind of pop out a little bit and giving them some dimension helped with the rest of the face. Same thing again with the mouth. I feel like they could have been a little more set back in her head, um, the teeth at least, but doing the lips and giving the lips a little bit of plumpness helped with that as well.
but when I had started drawing her, I didn't realize that I didn't have her on the floor. So I decided to actually have her in the air and I had to go in and readjust the legs because I really need to start thinking in a 3D space. What would someone's body do if they were like floating up into the clouds? So that was like the idea behind this is she is ascending into eternal happiness. But when I decided to create this painting for Little Misfortune, I knew that I had to have sparkles. And I wanted to use some of the different brushes. So there is a light brush that I actually found and I thought that this would be awesome to use for a rainbow or I don't know, I kind of was just messing around to see what I liked, but I ended up going with a little rainbow here because you know, happiness to everyone. <laughs> I love doing Little Misfortune impressions. They never get old. Uh, originally, I did want to do Benjamin, the little fox Benjamin, but this piece did take a little bit longer than I anticipated for. So if you would like to actually see another one with Benjamin or even Mr. Voice, I think that would be pretty cool, but pretty scary. Let me know in the comments. Leave a like on this video if you did enjoy. And if you do like these, I also have some more if you haven't seen them. Here's a playlist right here for you to go check out. And I think I'm actually going to be live streaming the next one. I'm going to do one really, really soon. I already know which character I'm doing. So make sure to follow me over on Twitch. Um, I'll have the chat pulled up in my VR headset. So I'll be able to talk to you guys live while I'm doing this because I feel like it's just the perfect thing to live stream. But yeah, I hope you all enjoy the way that this turned out. I didn't want to go too crazy with the sparkles here, but I mean, it is Little Misfortune and this is definitely one that I'm allowed to go crazy with sparkles here. I hope you all enjoyed this painting. It was a ton of fun to create. As always, thank you all so much for watching. My name is Cupquick and I will see you all later. Bye!